Okay, so today we're going to be looking at what happens when we compare a commercial off-the-shelf CO2 monitoring system to the board that you have, the SGP30 board that you have in your lab kit. So this is a laser-based, NDIR-based CO2 monitor, and I've put carbonated water in a plastic food container, and now from a baseline value of about 1,100 parts per million, in my house, the windows aren't open, so that's a relatively high value. Um, it should be lower. We see that when we put it in the container, it starts rising because it's effectively in a bath of CO2 gas. And so as we hold it there, it will stabilize to somewhere around 21, 2200 parts per million of CO2. I didn't put a lot of carbonated water in the bottom of that container. If you put more, you'll see a higher value. Um, so, so don't put too much carbonated water at the bottom. So we're looking at somewhere around, yeah, 2100, 2200 parts per million. And uh, it's sort of stabilizing around there. So we're going to assume that that's the level that is in this container right now. Now let's go get the SGP30. We're going to run the code and we're going to dip the sensor in the CO2 gas that's in that container. So there's the board with the sensor in it on the cable attached to the I squared C or I2C connector port. And I'm running the code. It needs some time to stabilize. So we're going to do some measurements at first to let it warm up. And then we're going to immerse it when it's ready to measure. Watching the MATLAB screen. We're going to put it in the CO2 gas that's in the container, not in the water. And then we're going to remove it. And you should, in the graph that results, see a rise and then a fall in the CO2 level. So let's take a look at that. Hopefully there's a graph. No, nope, the graph didn't appear. OK, we're going to have to run that graph again. I don't know where the graph went to. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. All right, let's run that graph again. And we should see a rise and then a fall, depending on where I put it in the container. And there we go. Okay, so we do, you can see that around 30 seconds, or th sorry, 30 samples. You can see that it went up to about 800 and then dropped off as I removed it from the container. The 800 that we're seeing right there isn't the same as the 2100 that we saw with the commercial sensor. And that's because we need to calibrate this a little bit better. It's not the same as the commercial sensor. It's not as good. But for the price, it's relatively close. It allows us to see trends. Mm -hmm.